What's going on guys, Charles here, back with another video and this one is really special. So today we're going to talk about a subject that I've never seen anyone talk about it on YouTube as far as I know and as far as I've searched and it's a really unique way to make money online. The cool thing about this is that when you look at it from outside, it looks a little bit complicated, but when you see it for yourself, when you see me actually doing it, you're gonna see that it's really not that hard. The strategy, the thing that I'm gonna teach you today is setting up your very own search engine and making money from it. Now, I know it might sound a little bit complicated, but it's really not, and it's super easy to do so. I'm gonna take you through the whole thing step by step, in this video, I'm going to teach you how do you set up the whole thing, how do you actually make money with it, and pretty much everything there is to know. Let's get it started. I'm going to take you to my computer right now. We're going to start with some tools and stuff like that, and uh, we're going to talk more about it, and you're going to see it all in detail. So stay tuned, um, and let's get it started. The software that we're going to be using, or the platform that we're going to be using to build our search engine website is called PHP Search. Now this is an additional thing that you got to purchase, it doesn't cost that much compar comparing the money that you can actually make with this, uh, it's pretty you know affordable. So this is the software, you know like WordPress. Uh, and I'm gonna leave a link, link to this in the description. You can check it out, or you can actually go to codecanyon.net and search it for yourself. So again, this is pretty simple. It just gives you a software that allows you to set up a search engine platform, and uh, it pulls the search results from Bing. So let me actually show you. There you go. So this is the actual page, and you know you can actually play with this stuff like the name, um, the background, stuff like that. Um, you can just play with that. We'll talk about that. But yeah, so it just allows you to pull information from uh, Bing search results. I'm gonna show you how to set this whole thing up. For example, if I search my name here, okay, so it's just gonna pull up all this results and everything. Again, this is coming from Bing, uh, so you gotta integrate this with Bing when we install the website, which I'll show you. But uh, yeah, so this is how it works. It's pretty basic, guys, but the idea here is that what you can do which is uh, something that you know not many people can do is to show ads here. So when someone searches for something, you can show ads and your ads are gonna pop up before the search results. So this is gonna feel pretty, nat pretty natural. So what you can do is you can just drive traffic to your search engine, which I'll talk about it as well. And then um, the, the people see these results and they're gonna click on your ads. So it's a really, really great way to make a good amount of money um, if you want to try a different way. So again, it, this is how this whole thing works. I'm going to um, I'm going to just take you through this whole thing step by step. So uh, make sure to get this thing if you want to continue so you can actually build it with me. That's one of the things I want. I want you to just build this with me because that's the best way to set it up so you can just see it. So click the link in the description, get this for yourself, and let's continue. All right, guys, so now that you know the basics, it's time to get into the details, all right? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna talk about a couple of tools that we're gonna be using for this particular uh, site, all right? Because there's a couple of stuff that you gotta do before you set this up. And um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you to my computer. I'm gonna talk about these tools in detail. And also, I'm going to show you what we're going to use it for. So that way, you know exactly what, what we need it for. So it's really important. These tools are something you should definitely have. But otherwise, you're not going to be able to build this thing. So uh, let's go to my computer. Let me show you this stuff. And let's continue. All right, guys. So let's talk about the tools that we're going to need um, to set this up. So the first thing you obviously need is a domain. So I recommend going to GoDaddy and buying yourself a domain. Uh, in this case, what I'm doing is that I'm just choosing something really gen generic for my domain. So uh, what I do, I go to this website called Instant Search, Instant Domain Search, and I just search for you know domains and stuff. So you know if I like something and buy it. Now, uh, when it comes to buying a domain for your search website, I recommend something generic. Um, not a niche specific domain, you know, like make money online or something like that, or weight loss, um, and not your own name. Um, just like a meaningless name or generic something, something that is just that doesn't really represent anything. So that's like the best way to go about search websites, you know, like Google, for example, right? It really doesn't mean anything because 
well it doesn't mean anything and it can because it doesn't mean anything it can mean everything right so that's the idea behind it so the first thing you're gonna need is a domain now this is gonna cost you like 10 bucks you know um, in my case I actually have a special account with GoDaddy they give me give it to me for eight dollars but yeah so that's the domain I'm just gonna buy that now the next thing obviously you need is this search uh, software right PHP search again I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description check it out in this case I already bought it so that's that now next option next thing you're gonna need is hosting all right now when it comes to hosting you have a couple of options okay now my goal here is to make sure you don't get confused all right that's very important um, and my goal here here is to make sure you just do this as smooth as possible without any trouble so there are a couple of different ways to host it first of all okay first for first things first you're gonna need a Microsoft Azure account okay now what is Microsoft Azure in case if you're wondering this is a cloud computing uh, service like Amazon AWS and um, what's the other one Google Cloud now if you're not familiar with the cloud this is going to be a little bit confusing I personally I mean I use cloud but not Azure um, I use a Google Cloud for some other stuff but um, the reason you need Azure is because so you're going to be using Bing API like for this search for for this stuff to show here you know you're going to need to use Bing search API and the only way to actually pull Bing API is to use Microsoft Azure so this is some this is also is explained in the, um, the documentation of this uh, software when you buy it so uh, so that's that again it's a free account you know you can actually just open a free account you don't have to really pay for anything and even if you end up paying it's not going to be that much maybe like a dollar a month or something like that or less actually but yeah it's pretty cheap um, so yeah that's that now that's for API you know just pulling the search data now there's another thing you're gonna need to host this um, host this thing here okay now there are different ways to host it now since we're gonna use Azure we, we can actually uh, use Azure to actually host this as well because you're gonna be uploading these files to a hosting like a website like a WordPress site now you can use Azure now um, I haven't used Azure for um, for hosting so I'm not really familiar with it so I'm not going to touch that okay I'm not going to be touching Azure because it can get a little bit confusing okay um, because of that I'm just gonna go ahead and use Bluehost okay I'm just gonna keep it simple because my goal here is to keep it as simple as possible for you guys uh, so you don't get confused because I could get into cloud stuff I can you know like even because I personally use Google Cloud for some other stuff um, I couldn't get I can get into that but it's it's it can get really confusing so I don't want to you know overwhelm me with too much information so so really simple stuff just get a domain buy the software okay and then get your Bluehost account I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description you can check that out and also open your Microsoft Microsoft Azure account that's it so all you need is just get these tools and get it started guys all right guys so now that you know the tools it's time to get into the final phase which is building this thing now I want to talk about a couple of stuff before we uh, before I show you how to build it how to set the whole thing up the first thing is that uh, this can get a little bit complicated not that complicated again if you just can follow the steps that I'm gonna show you right now you're gonna be able to set it up it's really not that hard uh, but if you get confused there are a couple of options first of all you can always ask me questions leave a comment let me know if you have any questions you can also uh, go through the doc documentation okay there's a documentation for this thing so you can actually go through that as well and you can also again uh, rewatch this video rewatch this whole part of the video all right guys so let me know if you need anything let me know if you have any questions this is going to be the longest part uh, where we're going to set the whole thing up so make sure you pay attention all right guys so let's go to my computer and let me show you how do you set this whole thing up all right guys so let's go ahead and finish this up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy this domain that's the first step right so i'm on godaddy just going to buy the domain real quick and we're going to start using it so let's buy the domain so that's the first step you just want to go ahead and buy the domain so uh, let me finish that real quick 
All right, so the domain is done, you know, I just bought it. So the next step is obviously to uh, point it to my hosting account. So in this case, I'm using Bluehost, as I mentioned before, we just want to keep it simple, right? So we're going to use Bluehost. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go to my, um, what is it? Let's go to my account here. Okay, manage domains. And I'm just gonna find the domain that I just bought. There you go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and go to go to manage DNS, and this is the page we're gonna need. So I'm going to uh, just point it to Bluehost. All right. Before I point it to Bluehost, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the name servers. I'm gonna point it to. Um, my uh, Cloudflare account, okay? So that's what I use. So I'm just gonna point it to Cloudflare. So the idea here is to just add it, to point it to Cloudflare and then from Cloudflare point it to uh, your um, hosting here. So it's gonna take some time to update. I'm just gonna let it um, up take its time. All right guys, so I just added this uh, domain to my Cloudflare account and then I'm just gonna add it to Bluehost. So if in your Bluehost account, when you get your account, when you open a Bluehost account, what you want to do is you want to go to domains, assign, and just want to enter your domain address and um, just follow the steps. So when you put your domain here, it's going to ask you to add the A record or change the A record, or there's a couple of different options so you can go with it. Since, you know, I'm already going with Cloudflare, I just have to go with this one, the A record. All right, so I'm just going to point it to my IP and we are good to go so when you do that again this is going to take some time um just going to give it like another 10 20 minutes until this is done and then we're going to ready we're going to be ready to deploy the website and start building it all right guys so it's been a couple of minutes and as you see it says ownership verified so the final step here is just click assign this domain and this is going to take me back to that page. So now what we're gonna be doing is uploading this thing to um, our hosting, up uploading the files. So I actually have the files here. So we're gonna be uploading it and we're gonna be following the instructions. So I already have the talking documentation here. Again, the steps are really simple, but um, you can actually have it open for yourself as well if you want to uh, do it with me. So yeah, so we're gonna be doing that. The first thing you wanna do is, if you, and there's something you can see in the uh, documentation as well. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna import the database. So the first step is to go to your hosting account, okay? And you wanna create a database, okay? So in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see, um, let's go to cPanel, that's where you wanna go, okay? And then you want to create, go to databases and create a database. I mean, you can just do it from here as well. You don't actually need to go to the, through cPanel for that one. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to create a database. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to save the information as well. All right. That's really, really important. Um, let's maybe just do that real quick. There you go. So I'm, I'm just opening text file here. So I'm just going to create a database. I'm going to call this. Uh, my night there you go so there you go create a database I just created that that's the name I'm just gonna copy this real quick because I'm gonna need that and then um, I'm going to give it a username password so add my school users add new user okay so I'm just gonna call this um, vy user and that would be my username Okay, there you go. Again, I'm just taking my time to save this real quick uh, because obviously you want to do that. And then you want to give it a password. So I'm just going to generate password real quick automatically. I'm just going to copy that. There you go. And that would be the password. And I'm going to create user. Okay. And then the last step here with the database, at least this part, is to add this user to this database okay it's very very important um there you go so that would be the username that we just created that would be the database where's the database there you go there you go so we just want to add that and just want to give it all privileges and that's it 
So that's the database part, okay? Now there is one more thing we gotta do, okay? Now we just created the database. We just give it all the you know password and stuff, and then we gotta give uh, import this SQL file. So if you actually when you buy this thing, there's gonna be a bunch of folders here, okay? So there is this file called there is this part called uh, the in the in the my my SQL folder. There's gonna be this file called database SQL. So you just want to um, import that to your database. All right. So you just want to go back to cPanel real quick, and you want to just refresh that. There you go. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll down to database tools, and I'm gonna click PHP my admin. So this is where you actually uh, use a tool to import this uh, file into your database that you just created. So just give it a second. It's gonna load. Find the database you created. Um, let's find that real quick. There you go. Where is that? There you go. So that's the database. I'm just gonna select that real quick. And when you select that, see it's pretty empty, right? So I just wanna click import and choose the file and choose the file that you just, uh, you know, uh, that you have in your uh, files. Choose that thing, this database file, and click import. So it's just gonna give it a second and it's gonna import it and you're good to go. All right, so that's pretty much it for this part. So now we're actually gonna have to make a couple of changes here and continue. So the last part here is again, pretty simple. So what you wanna do is you wanna open this file that they, they're saying that you should open, which is um, in script app includes, um, app includes config, there you go. So I'm just gonna open it with a text editor. You can open it with whatever you want really, it's a text file. So in this case, I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code. It's a free app you can download by the way, um, for Windows, Mac, anything. So I'm just gonna open this and this is where you actually enter the database information. So the username, password, you know, all that stuff. Um, that Your database, okay name and then password so i'm just gonna do this i'm obviously not gonna share my database information with you guys so i'm just gonna do this and save it real quick okay so that's pretty much it so i just saved that file and we're good to go so the last part here is just want to upload it uh, to that location so now the thing is let me actually show you this if i go to this site right now dot com it's gonna show this empty page right so now the final step here is to upload these files where is it? There you go. So what's asking you is to upload this whole thing. Where is it? Upload this the content of this folder completely. That would be this into your database, right? To your into your website. So that that one's pretty simple as well. So I'm just gonna get this. I'm going to compress it. All right. That's an easier way to really um, do this. So just that's gonna do that real quick. Let's just wait for it to finish. There you go. So that's that. I'm just going to go back to Bluehost real quick. And I'm going to finish that. So I'm just going to go back here. Going to go to cPanel. Sometimes it's just this template thing. Uh, it gets confused. So what you want to do is you want to go to File Manager here. And Home show hidden files there you go and you want to find the folder uh you want to go to public html and you want to find the folder that we just inst uh, that we just added domain there you go so that's the domain right so just want to go here and i'm just going to delete these two there you go and i'm going to upload this zip file that we just created just going to upload that give it a second and the final step after it's uploaded Let's close that there you go the final step is just extract it and take a look at it there you go so that is complete all right so the site is done it's time to actually monetize it so uh, the final step basically is to uh, 
talk about ads and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take you to through the back end of the site and I'm gonna show you how do you set up the ads how do you add the codes and what are your options really with this and we're gonna talk a little bit about traffic as well I'm gonna show you how do you drive traffic to this because uh, it's really important to know how to do that and there are there are a couple of really cool ways to drive traffic to it which I'm gonna share all right guys so let's go over there and let me show you how you do this all right guys, so let's finish it up. So the last thing you wanna do here is you wanna to go to your site, you wanna to go to the admin page. So it's gonna be your domain and then it's gonna be admin. Okay, so when you click on that, it just takes you there. Now, um, I'm already logged in. So if you're not logged in, you can actually log in with uh, this username, admin password. And then obviously you wanna change it afterwards, okay? So you just wanna go through the settings step by step and basically just finish the whole thing. So the first thing is uh, the site title, I'm just gonna start cha change it to, there you go. That's better, find the best resources to show your own online business, uh, save that. Uh, let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, that's not changing. I think that's a picture. That is a picture, yeah. That's why it's not changing. Okay, so um, there you go. So let's go to search here. Now this is where you wanna do the API key. I'm gonna do that right now. So if you actually go to documentation, um, it's gonna explain that part real quick. So you just wanna open it in Microsoft Azure account, okay? And then I'm just gonna log in with my account real quick. So guys, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna create a resource. Uh, you wanna go to AI and then Bing search and just uh, initiate the process. Again, the th whole thing is really simple. And since I already have it, I'm not gonna do it again, okay? But uh, you just do that and you're pretty much done. Now, I already have it here if we take a look. When you actually find the resource, it's gonna give you an API key. Just wanna copy this, okay? And you wanna paste it right here and sim. So now your search is going to work, all right? So there are a lot of other settings that you can actually play with here. Uh, for example, um, there is like region, uh, open new, open links in new tab. And actually you can actually have a search in only specific sites, which is pretty interesting if you take a look at it. Um, you can, if you have a website that you just, if you have a couple of sites that you just want, uh, uh, people to search on like you can actually do this this is pretty cool so the next one is appearance this is where you actually have the you can change the logo and stuff you can change the logo from here all right you can change this logo if you want I'm not gonna touch it for now but you can actually play with that stuff you can design a logo for yourself and uh, what I actually want to focus on right now is ads all right so uh, you can actually show ads as well now you all you gotta do is just drop the code now you can use HTML ads in this case I'm just gonna show an example here so this is gonna be the home ad so if I, I, ju I just added a code here and if I change it it's gonna show up right here now um, you can change you can just play with the HTML to put this in center stuff like that um, one of the things I want to do is actually I want to make the background take turn the backgrounds off so this way um, it's just gonna look much cleaner. I like it this way. And let's let's add a, a search page ad. Just gonna do that real quick. So let's search something. For example, I'm just gonna search my name. And when you do that, your ads are going to show up here. Now again, the whole thing is that you wanna play with the HTML. That's very important. There you go, so top, to, top and bottom. So you just wanna play with the HTML and see it for yourself. So. Now you have the search engine. Again, you just wanna go through this and make sure it looks nice and everything. Um, I would actually play with the HTML to make sure it ma matches the fonts that you have here. Um, I might actually make a video about that later. But yeah, so that's that. So last part is you wanna drive traffic to it. And one of the ways to drive traffic to this is using the Bing search itself. So you can, uh, this is my testing account. So what you do is you can, for example, uh, you can go and drive people who are looking for ways to make money online. For example, I'm just gonna do this, make money online, right? And if you take a look, I have a full URL here, make money online. So what I can do is I can just go drive, go do advertising for people who are looking for a specific keyword, make money online, okay? And uh, I can just send them to this particular search results on my own search engine. The idea here is to just uh, show your own ads also at the same time um, 
just maybe have your own websites right here as well so this is something you can do in the settings of this uh, app as well all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned something new today if you did make sure you subscribe to my channel i'm posting videos every single day um, so make sure you subscribe and also leave a comment let me know what you think about this video like it you know if you enjoyed the video if you think it deserves a like and more importantly, if you want to watch more videos, you should definitely check out these videos that are going to pop up right now. These are videos that Google think that you might like. So uh, check them out. And by the way, just one more thing I want to talk about is that when it comes to making money online and specifically affiliate marketing, because that's what I talk about a lot on my YouTube channel, uh, there are a lot of different ways to make money online. Okay, there are a lot of different ways to make money online and there are a lot of strategies that you can use for each and every single way, all right? So it's really important to know the right strategy for each and every single one of these niches and subjects. So if you want to learn that in more details, you should definitely check out the link in the description. And that's going to take you to the page where you can learn more about this stuff. And you know, if there's, if you want to check it out, it's something that is really going to change the way you see this business. Because again, there are a lot of different ways to make money online and there are a lot of different ways to actually implement this stuff. So um, definitely check them out. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. Again, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'm posting videos every day like this and I'll see you in the next one.